Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm going to make that bread pudding that I talked about with those leftover croissants. I like to get that big old thing of those big croissants at Costco, and then we eat them in breakfast jacks, breakfast sandwiches, ham and cheese, and um, eggs. And then what's left, I either freeze them for another time or I make a bread pudding. So today it's bread pudding. So I'm going to get the camera turned around and we're going to get busy. I've already got my um, oven heating to 375. And so I'm going to put four cups of milk in my bowl. Recipe calls for two cups of sugar. I'm putting one and a half cups. And I'm going to stir that until it's um, mixed good. Or mixed well, if you want to be proper. I'm going to take my four eggs and I'm going to use the whisk on them a little bit. before I put them in there and whisk them some more. I don't like stringy eggs and stuff. I want it to all be incorporated. I guess that's good enough. I started spilling it, so I just put it in there. Calls for two tablespoons of vanilla, but I'm thinking that that was too much vanilla and I've got good homemade vanilla from my friend. So I'm going to put just good one tablespoon of good vanilla in here. Sometimes it has one and a half tablespoons and I just want one. And that may be too much since it's good strong homemade vanilla, but we'll see. And I want about a teaspoon of cinnamon, or a little more. And I'll stir those darlings up in here. Used to be a restaurant outside Cleveland. Years ago it was called Chain of Lakes, and then it changed to Artesian something. I don't remember anyhow. They had the best bread pudding in the world. And the best fried catfish on Friday nights. They had a buffet. And they closed that buffet down. This made us all sick because we just loved it. Now let me look at my recipe card right quick because I might be forgetting something. Uh, yeah, I've got my butter melting over here in the microwave and I almost forgot it. And it's not melted yet, so let me start it again, melt it a little bit more. Add a little bit more calories to it. Get that butter in there, and then I'm going to break the croissants up and baptize them real good in that goodness and let them soak it all up. And, and then, I guess they're going to soak in their sin, huh? And then I'm going to add my raisins, and we will bake it at 350 for about 35 or 40 minutes. Now, I have a recipe for whiskey sauce, but I don't think I'm going to make whiskey sauce. I like it didn't melt good. Now what I did on the four cups of milk, I used a can of evaporated milk and filled it the rest of the way up with whole milk. Now let me get my croissants broke up and in here. Y'all just going to have to watch me do it. That's part of the video. That's part of the making. Man, I like croissants. They're so buttery and good. There's a restaurant called Armadea's, Armadea's down at Kingwood, and they have all kinds of bread pudding. They're known for their bread pudding, and she makes it out of croissants. 
I got every kind in the book, and it's good. Now, this calls for one loaf of French bread. But I'm just going to guesstimate that this is about a loaf of French bread. You know, if you wanted to make a bread pudding, I think this whole thing of croissants is like $5 and something, and it would make a huge bread pudding to take somewhere for a dessert. And you usually got eggs and milk and sugar on hand. Now I am going to add some raisins to it. And I don't really remember if my bunch likes raisins or not, but they might learn to like them. These are, are two or three day old croissants, so they got a little bit of body to them. Went and bought a bunch of seed yesterday. I'm going to plant some greens and radishes and some spinach, collards and turnips, maybe a little mustard. Um, some in my raised beds and some in the green stalks. And I'm going to see how they turn out. And I'm anxious to get that done and maybe they'll be growing a little bit and pretty for the wedding, which is November 30th. Because everybody always wants to look around, you know? I want it to look good. Okay, I'm just poking it down under the milk the best I can. The milk and the eggs and the goodness. Get out of there. Let me rinse my hands. I'm going to let this soak just a jiffy. And I'm going to get my uh, pan ready to put it in it, and I'm going to stir the... I'll go ahead and sprinkle these on the top. They really, they're not real brand new raisins. So maybe they need to be down in there soaking too a little bit before I put it in the oven. Oh my goodness, I can almost taste it already. I didn't add any salt. I might need to add about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to say about that in a minute. I shall be right back. I just remembered that I had a little hunk. It's not even four ounces. I had a little hunk of cream cheese in the ice box. And I'm just going to make little pieces and just stir them around in this bread pudding. And every now and then, we'll get a little bit of cream cheese with it. That's not in the recipe card. That's in Gay's head. April loves bread pudding, too. Just about all of my bunch likes bread pudding. It's not all the same size. If y'all are OCD, oh well. Because I'm not. But I might go back and half some of it where there'll be more little hunks around in there. You can make, when I was growing up, we had bread pudding out of leftover biscuits. And it was plenty good. I told y'all one time we went over to a friend's house and she had bread pudding made. Of course, we knew we loved bread pudding, but when Dorothy served hers, she had a she had made a lemon sauce to go on it. So we realized we'd been deprived for years on our bread pudding because we didn't get lemon sauce. It's funny how you remember stuff like that. I was just a Little old young and not very old. I might should put one of those burger buns in here, but I'm not. It's a little bit juicy. It didn't soak it all up. But if it's a little juicy, that juice is good and rich and it'll be yummy. Now, I should have melted butter in here, but I didn't. I think that's what the melted butter was for and I wasn't thinking. 
So I sprayed it with some canola oil spray. And if y'all have got a uh, message about canola oil, I'm sorry. That's what I had handy. Man, man, man. You know, at Christmas, you can make this and put some red and green chopped cherries in it. And it's so pretty. And it's not your typical rich Christmas dish, but everybody likes it. Let me show y'all how pretty this looks. And it's about to get prettier. See it? All ready to go in the oven. Okay, I'm going to go over there and put it in the June oven. And I'll be back when I take it out. Okay, y'all. I don't know if I showed it to you or not. It's cool enough now that I can lift it. There you go. See the little bits of the cream cheese and the raisins and all? Gonna be some good eating right here. And I'm just gonna take one little corner and taste it because I think the kids are coming tonight and I want them to, I want to have some with them. Mm. Let me show you. I'll just hold it up here with my hand. It's very moist. You can see the raisins. It's almost squishy. It's so moist. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. I might as well eat the other bite. Y'all use the same method. Any kind of bread. Light bread don't do too good or sandwich bread, but French bread, brioche, any of that. Makes a wonderful bread pudding. Homemade biscuits. I got a raisin left. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all need to make you one of these. So see, we enjoyed those croissants two ways. We had delicious breakfast sandwiches, and then we had, or we're having a bread pudding the night after church. Hope y'all make you some. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what I did. I made a sauce to go on it, but I didn't show y'all making it because I wasn't sure how it was going to taste. I used uh, four cups of, uh, four cups, two cups. I used two cups of whipping cream, and then I just poured some whole milk in it. Used about a half a cup of sugar, oh, about a fourth of a stick of butter, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and I stirred that together and let it uh, all blend real good and come up to a boil, and then I thickened it with about probably four teaspoons of cornstarch. I dissolved it in some of the cold milk and thickened it a little bit. So I've got a sauce over here. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's still hot, so let me get me something to help my hand. I should just try to bring the camera over there, but see, it's just a white, thick sauce. And it calls for a couple of shots of Jack Daniels, but uh, I just use vanilla extract. But you can put it in there, but if you do, let it cook a little bit and get some of the alcohol out. But the place down there I was calling Chain of Lakes, they actually had the Jack Daniels sauce that you put over it. You couldn't taste the whiskey, but oh my goodness, it was good. Very good. I know y'all are surprised I'm back in a day or two. I'm trying amid all the hustle and bustle. So anyway, here's your good dessert to make. And I'll be back ASAP with something else good. The good Lord bless y'all.